Here's the image, and he wrote, want to run it back in a few months. And look at Dak responding on his story. That's the only way I see it, which is just perfectly cryptic enough to get everybody talking. It certainly gives him plausible deniability, but doesn't commit him to absolutely anything. So let's get the conversation started. Our insider is Kimberly Martin. Kimberly, what does that mean, and what is the latest on Dak Prescott as we work our way towards the beginning of the franchise tag period? Greeny, I think Dak is playing this perfectly because what he's telling us is he wants to play in Dallas. Now, we've had this, this standstill between both camps. This contract extension he's been waiting for has not arrived. But Dak is saying, I want to be here. So if I'm not, that's on the front office. Now, he might only play here one year. But even so, I think that's smart. Gamble on yourself. He's done it before. If he signs the franchise tag, I think he can win the Kirk Cousins way. Let me ask you guys, who has made more money over the last five seasons than Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, and any other player in the NFL? It's Kirk Cousins. So I think Dak will be just fine. Even if he has to sign the franchise tag, bet on yourself and then get a payday later. That's what Jeff Saturday always says. Kirk Cousins them to death. But there's another <laughs> way this could go. And again, Mike Tannenbaum always he's got these ideas and they always turn out to be right. And we've talked we talked in our meeting this morning about how Jerry Jones finds himself in the very unique circumstance for him of not having any leverage in this circumstance. So what's one way he could rectify this situation? You know, Greeny, they could get him signed and they could trade him straight up for Deshaun Watson. It's player for player and it solves one problem for one team and another for, for Dallas. And when you think about where, where we are, Jerry Jones has made a 40 to $50 million mistake, Greeny. Two years ago, it would have been about 32 to $33 million a year for Dak Prescott. Now that number is going to be closer to $40 million. On five or six years, that's about a $50 million mistake. Kimberly's right. Kirk Cousins is a great example. Dak's going to do even better. So one way for Jerry Jones, who's in a very un unique position of not having leverage, trade him for Deshaun Watson, get a player who's slightly better under contract for five years. I'm looking at the expression on the face <laughs> of Bart Scott, and I can't wait to hear what it means. What do you think, Bart? Why in the hell would Dak Prescott do a sign and trade to go to Houston when he's seeing the dysfunction going on there? Why would I sign up for that? Long term, listen, Dak Prescott is close to his free agency being able to pick where he wants to go. That's what every player covets, the ability to pick the team that you want to play for. Now, if he has a running back in Dallas, he has all the leverage in the world. Either you give me what I want or you can franchise tag me after this year, and I'm going to pick my destination. And I'm going to pick a destination where a team that's ready to win, whether it's the San Francisco 49ers that we know don't love Jimmy G, you know, whether it's the Pittsburgh Steelers or the future, if this has been last year. If I'm Dak Prescott, I'm sitting pretty. Pay me my money, and rather you pay me my money, when you pay me my money, I'm going to decide where I'm going to go in the future. You're not going to dictate to me, because if you wanted to dictate to me that I was going to be here long term and say, hey, I'm a cowboy for life, or at least for the next five to ten years, then you should have paid me my money when I was cheap. He's been underpaid. He was a fourth-round draft pick. They've been making money off him, signing everybody, signing Zeke. Well, tell you what, let Zeke run the ball. Let Zeke throw the ball, but I'm out after this year because, listen, the window is closing in Dallas. To be clear, they could franchise him a third year, but there's no way they will. It would cost them over $50 million to assure themselves, the Cowboys, of having Dak the next two years would cost them $90 million. It's not an option. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.